Hello everyone, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 310. Recently, the right hinges is broken somehow. So today I'm going to show you how you can replace the whole bottom chassis. Uh, this is the replacement we received. This is not too pricey. Instead of fixing it like DIY repair, I would prefer to change it because the price is not too much and this one would bring the laptop back to the original condition. So that's the actual replacement. This is the one. This is not from Lenovo anyway. Kind of uh, Chinese made. Quite flimsy and very soft plastic. Okay, but when you will build it, with all the components in here it's going to be quite strong and that would be strong enough to run another few years okay. so first of all what we need to do we need to take out every single part that we can see and then we'll put it back to the actual back plate so this uh, screw is missing but I found one I'll put it there which is that one and the second one is the hard drive take out the drive as well if possible that's the actual drive and now all the screws that you can see we need to take this out from here Now gently I'm going to lift it up, it depends on how much broken it is. Take a plug opening tool. I need to check if there is any more screws left. Somewhere. I think so, that's the one. Right. Why I disconnect this, uh, this one? And that one, the reason is we need to pull the front panel, which one could lead this one. One second. Good. That is going to be much more easier to pull this out. That's the front panel, which is absolutely fine. Can you see the base? Both of them broken. Okay, the base is broken anyway. And second one is to pull out the battery first thing. But disconnect all the flex, whatever you can see. Make sure you do remember if this is first time. Okay, first thing is first, disconnect this port. First, the uh, battery connector, then you are safe. Okay. You can do one by one or you can do all together. It depends on how much export you want. Okay, so example, if this is first time, then you can copy. You can copy everything. Example, I'm going to show you. Disconnect it first. Take this down. It's much more easier. Okay. Then you can take out the speaker, first connect the speaker, which is that one. As you can see.
put it nicely all the wire like that good you can copy in that way okay just for the video purpose i'm going to copy the same thing the way i done so now i'm going to disconnect this uh optical disk drive connector which is the sata connector right in here see it's super easy in that way without worrying it too much okay now we need to take, pull out the motherboard the motherboard also does have few screws take this out one then and then another two more here I believe four screws only into the motherboard which is quite simple right leave it on the side because a lot of component under the motherboard which one we need to place okay so battery is the most important one battery also does have two screws one two pull this out Good. And then the screw goes back to the place. One of them here. Two of them. Bring the fan. Okay. When you pull the flex, be gentle. Easy to break. Okay. And before you put it back, what you can do, you can give it a clean. like that way good you to pause the video ta. so now we need to take out this hard drive SATA connector okay so how what you should do pull one side and then just push it from the bottom there are two little prom which one kept it in place it's gonna come out example do it in that way push this out should be fine as you can see the two little side locked it into the place before you forget make sure you put it into the place okay that's the way now we can put it back the motherboard but before we do that what we can do we can put this screen panel because it does have a lot of wire as you can see uh, these are the antenna for the wi-fi and obviously the hinges as well so take these two screws out
So that's fine. Now we are good to put the motherboard back in here. All right. So now we can connect. Now we need to check at the bottom so now rest of the screws also goes one of them is right here another one should be somewhere here absolutely fine we can place this one now because there is no screws behind it This one as well, the battery. That's all so far. Rest of the screws come from the other side. Double check all the connectors that you applied and make sure the hinges is closed properly, otherwise, it's going to break again. Now we're going to go like that way, but check if there is any old screws and stuff left. I can see there is one part already came out. That's the reason why it broke. So the keyboard panel right screw was broken which one already we fixed it and this is completely dried out now what are you going to do we're going to put it back to the place and the job will be done okay this one little bit tricky because the flats come through this hole in here
this and now the keyboard that is most important That's the power button. Trackpad is working. Pin also does work. So that's how you replace the bottom chassis for Lenovo IdeaPad 310. But the replacement is copy and quite flimsy so be careful when you replace it and make sure you double check the keyboard and the uh, trackpad so that's all for today thanks for watching bye for now